Yo, what's up guys? It's I Shades and we're back again with another video. I'm literally doing this video because y'all requested it. I put in the community, I put out a vote, a poll for you guys to vote on discuss the situation of Farlight, right? The state of Farlight. We're seeing a lot of people complaining, ranting, quitting, tired, awaiting and nothing happens so where where do we even start here where do where do we even start here because in this video i'm gonna let myself you know release my frustrations on how i feel about the state of our life this is going to be the first time I actually open myself 100% to Farlight 84 and its development team and how frustrated I am. But the reason why I haven't done this, it's mainly, it's mainly because sometimes dev teams are kind of soft and they'll take their, your criticism towards the game personal and they will like ban you from everything and you won't be able to get insights not saying that i have those yet but i was like you know what if i get those possibilities in the future so that's what sucks about modern age it's like you can't even ex like express how you feel right like people here are so soft and so sensitive when you speak upon how you feel about a situation or what's going on and you could definitely speak about how you feel without attacking the person individually right so Farlight 84 team, don't take it personal. It's not towards your daily lives. I'm pretty sure you guys are forced by somebody else to, to make these decisions because I cannot believe, I cannot believe when you guys sit down and make these decisions that you agree as a group. Example, let's remove jetpacks. Now add no new movement mechanic until further notice. Like what? How, how does this how does that even happen how does that even happen how is that even a thing so that's where i get frustrated because i'm like who came up with this idea said let's remove jetpacks and let's not add anything else until further further notice so then you guys bring out the jet sliding which i'm gonna be honest with you the jet sliding is absolutely sick you guys made it feel you guys made it feel even better in the anniversary uh so i gotta give you credit on that it, it, the jet sliding is a big plus i see a lot of people complaining in the comments on instagram and twitter like oh you took out jetpacks the game is so slow now it's so boring dude 90 percent of those people did not try last season with the jet sliding the game was good last season if i'm gonna be honest with you the pacing of the game and the fighting felt better than when they had jetpacks yes a lot of you may not agree with me but it did it actually did it was okay for only maggie to have that movement mechanic i enjoyed it i liked it i had a lot of fun last season and i was looking i was looking forward to the new season right just like everybody else everybody else is looking forward to it right so why why will you make these drastic changes we are three to four weeks in nothing has happened you nerf michelle by a tiny little grain she still scans and she slows you down nobody wants that michelle is a support character why are you making her a recon character and to even begin with her abilities are not even a support it's like where are they where are they where are they like somebody please explain to me their thought process because i don't understand it i don't understand it where do they come to these conclusions that hey let's give this character a scan right she slows you down and you could throw attack to them while they're behind cover give you freaking clutter clutter visual you know visual clutter give the guy a seizure while he's playing and then and and and, 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 and it would bring the whole player base back right that's just gonna make the game so much better again what it's like i don't understand that and don't even get me started with lucinda lucinda's absolutely broken absolutely broken but michelle michelle was even more broken but we're gonna get back to that later so three four 
three three to four weeks in nothing has happened three months until the next big update no new cosmetics no new items no new content how do you expect the player base to come back how do you expect the content creators to come back like what do you think i'm gonna hop into the grandmaster match kill 40 bots and say hey i killed 40 bots like look at my video like nobody cares bro nobody wants to watch you slay bots on top of that people just don't even care about watching you slay like people actually want to see a video where you show yourself you you show what's going on in the game like you show your personality you you guys know what i mean right so what do i have in the game to that could give me something like that i have nothing nothing there's no content why am i gonna just drive a vehicle around and, and run over a bot and dash and say it's a real player like I, I don't do that i don't do that i know there's other content creators out there that kill bots and they're like hey i killed 40 players in the lobby you get me notice i barely ever even posted videos i barely ever even posted videos of me killing like bots like I, I like if you look at my momoi video i killed 24 actual real players you go back and you look at it all the players i killed were real so no new content what what does that cause content creators to leave to another game like blood strike blood strike has way more content because within the game there's content you got the loadouts you got Shutter Island. You got the skins. You got so many other things that you could do. And the game is fresh as well. For content within Bloodstrike, that Farlight doesn't even come close. Right? Farlight for me has a special place in my heart. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love the game. The core game to Farlight. I absolutely love it. It has a special place in my heart. And that's why I'm frustrated. And that's why I'm going off right now. Because if not, I wouldn't care. So players are quitting everywhere, everywhere. I have people saying in my in my comments when I've streamed, I have people coming to my stream saying this game is dead. It's not fun anymore. Players are quitting everywhere. They don't want to play this game anymore. Because they queue up and even in Mythic Rank, they're fighting against 40 bots. Nobody wants to fight against 40 bots. And then on top of that, you get bot teammates. You think the bot teammates are gonna res you when there's no response? Nobody, especially even if you, especially even if you play solo, you think people are gonna go res you at the respawn? You think they're gonna go waste their time and drive over there to res you at the respawn? Like I have even played that. I have even played, and I and I know I I already kind of have an idea of how it's how it works. The respawns were a good thing to the game and they removed that. And now solo queue players struggle to enjoy the game because they have to rely on a random or a bot because they do still give you bot teammates to bring you back. Like, look how lazy these developers are, man. Like, how lazy can you be? How lazy can you be that you can't adjust the game so you don't have bot teammates? That is lazy. Very lazy. Something that, that comes to a conclusion. And usually when these things happen, that's when the game is about to die. Less servers, less players. Right? So there's less servers. You kind of get more real players because you're playing in less servers. But now there's less players. So what's going on? People are playing on 200 ping. You think they want to play on 200 ping when they're lagging everywhere? And they've been forced to play like that last season. And this season was the exact same thing. Ping is still an issue. And players aren't going to, they're going to quit when they see that they're lagging. And especially in a game like this, that has nothing to offer to them. Now, even the rank grinding is rewarding. It doesn't have anything to grind for. Like, I will never forget the time they gave you a captain skin if you hit legend. Like, what? Going back to Michelle, Michelle killed this game. Michelle killed this game competitively. 
It's it's terrible. It's terrible fighting against Michelle. It's fight. It's it's a nightmare. It's, it's stronger than Apex Legends Seer when Seer was meta. Like where did he think that this was a good idea to make a character so overpowered? And that she's hard to counter. Yeah, you have Suno, but the only way you can counter her is with ultimate. And she gets her scan back in 30 minutes. I mean, 30 seconds. I saw they release a tournament survey as well. Are they listening? No. Why don't they listen to uh, Zach Wilder? I think that's how you say his name, right? Or the other content creators. Why don't you listen to them? Dude, I wish I could talk to Zach myself. And tell him that my ideas and how I feel. Because Zach misses some things as well. Zach is an amazing content creator. I love Zach. But he's he's missing some ideas that I have as well that I wish I could release, right? They do they they did make good changes. Like I said in my other video re regarding uh the aim assist. Me as a controller player. As a professional player for diff. I'll tell you the aim assist was way too strong. A mobile and on controller. That thing was way too strong. It's good right now. But why would they change the FOV, dog? Why would they change the FOV? That's another change. And I'm like, why? And I, and I, I think Lethes, I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm sorry. Lethes or Lethes. If I say it wrong, if you ever see this video, I'm sorry. But I 100% agree with what you said in Zach Wilder's video when you guys had that meeting. That why would they change the FOV? Why would they make us adapt to a game? Now you got to adapt to something else. That she made such a good point when she said that. You work so hard all season to adapt to a new playstyle, and then they just change it up completely. Why? If it's working do you want to change it you're not going to bring new players like that and then i see that they keep sending out surveys but they don't listen like listen to zach listen to Lethes, listen to them <laughs> zach said in his video that they're they're silent on him so who are you listening to i'm pretty sure zach never told them to make all these changes it's absolutely it's absolutely crazy the game was actually picking up again and y'all had to bury it and the game is gonna die i don't think it's gonna make it next season i don't the numbers are not lying i checked the other night on steam and there was only a thousand eight hundred players a thousand eight hundred players the game is dead it's dying it's dying it's literally dying in front of our, our eyes. But guess what? We made amazing memories on Farlight. We made amazing friends. Amazing moments. And I'll forever be grateful. Thank you to the core team of Farlight 84. If this game dies tomorrow. Thank you for the memories you've given me. Thank you for helping me uplift this channel. Because while Farlight, this channel would still be stuck in the Apex era. Where we were at. Which I was doing good at a certain era. And then it just went downhill because my PC broke. And I just, I just wasn't feeling Apex like I used to. And I, I fell into like this depression. And then there was Farlight. And Farlight picked me up. And I thank you to the Farlight community. Thank you to the core devs for, for giving us those special moments. But man, but you guys are destroying the game right now. Destroying it. I hope everybody has a good day. It just depresses me when I talk about Farlight. Be safe, guys. Catch you on the next one. Oh, man.